From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Today, week 12 of the NFL season is upon us, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the New York Giants. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. throwing here to start the drive and the Chargers rush is going to get there down he goes Joey Bosa in there to get him and that is sack number six now for him on the year what we knew coming in is going to be a long afternoon if they weren't able to hold up against this pass rush huh what we didn't know was that protection was going to spring a leak on the first play from scrimmage got after him right out of the gate so much for coming out throwing as it leads to an early second down and long and he'll be taken down at the 18. Eight yards here, so that gets him back within striking distance. And now it's third down. Well, this defense for the Chargers, they were quite formidable in the win over Philly a week ago. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, 
the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. He's Barkley hit in the ball, pass three. And he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now they'll change things around before the snap. A first down carry for Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The Giants at 500, sitting at 5-5. Five and five. Well, They were losers last time out, trying to turn things around here in this one. And it always helps to have a home crowd behind you, giving you encouragement as long as you give them something good to cheer about. So, you know, they just want to come out and play well for their faithful, and I expect them to do just that. But you talk about the defense for these Chargers. This crew against the pass issues at times, ranked number 24, Charles, in the NFL. And even though that's not the greatest ranking in the world, one thing you can say, they get after the quarterback. They're in the top 10 in the league in sacks. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. On is the punter, Johnston, now as he sends this one away. Returnable here for Davis. Fights off the defender. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 22. They started on the ground with Eckler. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long Eight. afternoon so quickly all the way up at the 40 yard line here's Herbert going deep here for Allen that's caught inside the 20 a big play there for LA 45 yards the catches for him just keep piling up in his career. He's now at 1,024, and that ties Isaac Bruce, the number that he had back in the day. Yeah, part of the greatest show on turf. And remember, Isaac Bruce, Torrey Holt combined for nearly 2,000 catches in their careers. He might get to 2,000 himself with the numbers <laughs> he's posting up there. Keeps himself in great shape. He might go for it. And a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Now a second and ten. A shotgun snap for Herbert. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. Mike Williams, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Chargers are on the board first here this afternoon. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And the Chargers grab the 7 0 lead. Hicks the score, Chargers 7, Giants nothing. Cameron Dicker to kick off for the Chargers. And here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Hello. 
The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they are back down to 500 following the loss last week. Consistency has been a real issue for them so far. Brandon, you almost don't know what team is going to show up every week. I mean, there's no consistency with this ball club at all. And if we feel that way, I know it frustrates the coaching staff. And it also has to frustrate the key leaders in the locker room. They got to figure out how to get coordinated. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. Start with great field position at the 41-yard line. At the 41-yard line. After the turnover, here's Herbert. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. Complete to Quentin Johnston. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 33-yard line. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. his target Allen and down he goes taking it inside the 10 just shy of the five at the six that'll be marked as a 27 yard pickup that's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage and tell you what a few more plays like that he won't be number two for long well that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field these guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage totals numbers the whole deal and let's face it all of them they all want to be number one out of the gun, Herbert. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six on a Giants touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets him on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week, when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding? But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? Extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Running on first down, Eckler. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Next to receivers, I'll spread the defense out. They were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. On second down, here's Herbert. 
That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. And he'll be out of bounds. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. They get this out left. Touchdown, Chargers. Mike Williams. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 14-7. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Why shift the crew? Crew, crew. Now Jones. Looking middle and that's complete. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Throwing Jones. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they've got it with a first and 10. second down but that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield you want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter can play out wide who can not only get open but when they're covered can uncover themselves downfield and create catches Dom Capers Dom Capers Dom Capers Dom Capers Apple 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 to throw again on second down Jones in a heavy traffic and it's intercepted Picked by Kenneth Murray, and the 
the Chargers are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. At their own 42-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. The play fake, and now Herbert to throw. It's wheeled in downfield by Johnston. A big play there for L.A. 42 yards. A gain of 42 yards on the play. First down, Los Angeles. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Just keeping the play alive. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Play action. It's Herbert. Wide open, it's Allen complete. Touchdown! Keenan Allen, 31 yards. And the Chargers go up by two touchdowns. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from, but for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Well, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. I had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and then finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. Short throw. Going to be caught by Waller. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Jones. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Here's second and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Jones to throw on third down. And he fires one, but incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. And his kick here is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Set. 
The Charger drive about to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On second and ten, the ball back with Herbert. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. First down, Charger. Herbert on first down now. And that one complete downfield to Allen. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. And again, Herbert. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. Herbert now. Open now. Johnston, touchdown Chargers. From 17 yards out, and the Chargers had six to their lead. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack in the previous play, that just hurts the those guys because they never want to see their guy get hit. Herbert and the Chargers stay in put. They'll line up and go for two. They'll try and run it here. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And last time, able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Hey, why shift, Max? Nah, In motion right, that's Hyatt. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Jones signaling, let's go, let's go. Try to get his guys up to the line. Second down, here's Barkley again. And this will be a Giants first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Woodland, Woodland, Gold Woodland! Gold Woodland, Gold Woodland! Jones now. 
On first and ten. A short one here secured by the tight end Waller. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. First down now, but that clock rolling. Looking to throw. Jones. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free at its second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 20-yard line. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to change the play. A handoff. Barkley running left. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And the Chargers will take over here at their own 12-yard line. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him off already in this opening half. The Charger drive about to get going. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. Now a deep one for Johnston. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Chargers. And you've used the phrase with me before, pressing the kicking game. What exactly does that mean? Because they did it there. It means focusing on it, all aspects of it, because it's the third part of the game, offense, defense, special teams. If you press the kicking game, create an advantage, make a big play, it often leads to victory. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that pushes the lead up to 23. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. They're on 17 yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Second half begins with a run from Barkley. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Second and 12. At the 15 yard line. Here's Jones looking to throw on second down. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. But plain and simple, 
That's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Dom Capers! Dom Capers! Dom Capers! Now Jones on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. On first and 10, Jones. That one finds Hyatt. And he's going to get this down to the 35 yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that will bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing again on second down. Jones, he'll rifle this one deep right side. Oh, and Jones has just thrown his third interception. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Crowd right, crowd right, crowd right. Set. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now it's Herbert. And this is caught by Williams. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Here's Herbert. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, L.A. Quentin Johnston with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Chargers are an extra point away from going up by 30. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Dicker down attack on the extra point. And the lead is now an even 30. Makes the score. Chargers 40. Giants 10. Cameron Dicker to kick off for the Chargers. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. 
Jones throwing on first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. To throw on second and ten. Jones. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You mates all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it, and not realizing the danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Here's Herbert. He gets it to Johnston. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. That one good for 26 and a first down. The partner is still in the third quarter, but they've got this one well in hand and still airing it out with gusto and picking up some nice gains. And even in lopsided games like this, you don't really see starters get lifted or the foot come off the gas before the fourth quarter. No one wants to leave any doubt when they're playing well. They just want to continue the process. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Throwing quickly, and Herbert completes it. Touchdown, Chargers! Mike Williams with career touchdown number 75. And the Chargers get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Giants 10. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's going to be out of bounds here as the run back will leave him shy of the 20 yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Ladybug, 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 ladybug. Up, go. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Jones now on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he gets it.
gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. In motion right, that's Hyatt. Hey, let's go get one. Let's go get one. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Back to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 28. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards from the 21. Here's second and a couple. Running left, it's Barkley. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. In search of eight yards on third down. They've already converted two of these on this drive, two for two. Throwing Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 15-yard line. 11 more yards there. This methodical drive continues. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Here's a give to Barkley. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Giants! Daniel Bellinger, his first touchdown on the year. And the Giants get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through, pulling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. The kicking team out there for the Giants as they will send this one away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got enough time left here. They could definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive as well if they really want to drive home this landslide victory. Yeah, we're certainly about to see just how aggressive they want to be here down the stretch. And what some coaches do is they try and meet it halfway, meaning they want to continue to run their offense, 
but they'll put in a lot of backups to do it and then tell the opposing coach, hey, I had to get them some work too. I can't just let them sit over on the sidelines all the time. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And this is caught at the 20. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers extend their lead, and they are about to get to a 9-2 record. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure Check out how to not do Check it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now Jones. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then, you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no gain. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and six. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road and help seal away one of their best efforts of the season. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Now Wilson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. 
Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game, and they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the forward. They certainly are, and let me tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all, but in today's football, you just go ahead and savor it. Watch your team execute at a high level. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. But Charles, in this win, they've really just had one speed, and that's been all out. They're still driving the ball downfield despite the circumstances and the big lead, and they just continue to find ways to get into the end zone with ease. They're certainly in that zone where almost everything they try is successful and often leads to points. Teams don't get those types of games very often, so when they do, many of them just want to take advantage of it to the last second. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way to find things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually work. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley, and he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Well, he's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice gain, and things add up, and now you have the kind of game he's having. Hyatt has got it, and they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. South Salad, South Salad, South Salad, South Salad. Timberland, 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 Timberland. On first down, Jones. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Again, he'll drop to throw. He finds his man, it's Robinson. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now, but as you mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for replacements. Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. Second and ten. They'll look to throw again. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. 
Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone.